All praises to the Most High, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, forever and ever, so let it be true. Love, honor, and respect to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and to His Holy Son, Yahweh Shai, who died for the twelve tribes of Israel. And double honors to the apostles of GMS, the four major prophets, the minor prophets, and the 144,000 brothers, the Achim, the saints, who are pushing the word of God to, on the four corners of this earth, risking their lives every day. And uh, Shalom to all the brothers and sisters and children who are watching these videos. We're on another lesson. And that last video I did on top of that rooftop, it was nice and calm. Go up to on top of the building, open the Bible up, and I started the video. And the wind and all hell broke loose. So that video you couldn't even hear it, but I still download it. Because not everything's going to be nice and beautiful and quiet and birds chirping and butterflies flying around my head. If there's going to be wind, or, you know, the, the, the devil, the spiritual, their, their spiritual wickedness, they have their own realm of evil. And when you're bringing out the scriptures, they'll bring noise, rap music rock music, wind, so things like that, you just get, that's being part of being out there in the battlefield, wherever you go, you gotta be ready for whatever comes your way. But I still downloaded that video, but I'm gonna talk, off, I'll talk about some of the stuff from that day and today, okay? So the last three from Friday, the stock market, Monday and today's Tuesday, I believe it's August 30th today, we're at the end of the month, three days the stock has been in the red okay and like I said last week that the Federal Reserve Chairman Powell the only, the only thing he's ever said the truth there's only one thing everything that comes out of there is lies but he said pain is coming labor pains and what does he mean by labor pains because they're gonna start they're gonna keep on hitting those uh, they're gonna keep on rising up the uh, the interest rates and when they do that it's gonna be harder for people to get homes okay it's gonna be harder it's gonna be hard for any uh, families to get an auto loan it's gonna be hard to get any loans for anything the squeeze is on okay and that's what that's what what's happening right now in America that's the only thing that came out of his mouth that pain is coming and the pain is already here but it's going to get worse by the months okay so uh stocks extend their losing streak today like i said today's tuesday the third day the dow closes down today 300 in the red and then on friday it was over a thousand points and a few things like i want to touch on but the wind was blowing um the last time i was out here was uh 20 million U.S. homes, uh, US, 20 million Americans are behind on their power bill. That they're not paying their public service bill. One in six people. And within the next few months, energy bills are going to go higher. Okay, the squeeze is on. I noticed my bill has went up fifty dollars, and, and from last year, from last summer, it's went up another fifty dollars. So it's going up. And then I haven't changed nothing. I, I mostly keep my lights off day in and I, you know, I, I really don't even use much energy. But it's went up another 50 bucks. And like in the winter, I don't even turn on my heater. I sleep in the cold. I love, I love the cold. I just wrap myself up in the blankets. But this winter, a lot of your bills are gonna be 800, 1,000, 1,200. It's gonna squeeze people. People ain't gonna, and it's not gonna only happen here in the United States, around the world. And uh, Target, uh, their profit over the summer plunged 90% in the red. As inflation, uh, weary shoppers are tightening their belts. They're not. They're only getting what they need to get. They're not going crazy on their credit cards. They're just buying what they need to get. And that's what's going to happen with the holidays coming up. You know, you got Halloween. You know, all these dummies come out with Halloween. And then you have Thanksgiving. And then you have that other creep day that they all give presents to each other. During this this coming winter, very few people will have any money for anything. Okay? Bed Bath and Beyond, their stock has been plummeting 
AMC theaters, their stock was cleansed. So, uh, trouble, trouble is happening in paradise. The fall of America, the fall of paradise, and it's happening right now. Um, let me see what the, more news. Over 100,000 cars are repossessed, are being repoed every week. You heard me. Over 100,000 cars are being repoed. Now you have CBN, uh, CNBC, CBS, ABC, ABC, all these dummies keep on saying the economy is strong. You know, it's not strong. Over 100,000 people are losing their cars a week. That means a lot, of, there's millions of people not paying their car payments. And it's because, should I eat or should I pay the car? Should I pay the mortgage or should I feed my children? That's what it's coming down. People, what's the number one killer? Stress. When bills start piling up and people start worrying about paying their house, paying the public service, paying their cars, paying their kids' tuition, that kills you. Blood pressure goes to the brain and you have a stroke or you have a heart attack. That's what's happening right now. A lot of people, the stress is gonna be so overwhelming upon them that they're just gonna take their own lives. And that's happening. Suicide is up all over the United States. Crime is up all over the United States. I got so many videos I have to come out on crime. Uh, in New York, there's been carloads of uh, thugs attacking people. And they're, and they're not two, three guys. They're like six, seven. They're organized groups. And they've, they've been smacking even off-duty police officers. That's been happening. So, like I said, this lesson is going to be part two, The Fall of Paradise. Howl and pain in America. Labor pains of a woman. Because that's what's happening. Labor pains. It's coming upon this whole earth. But America is going to get it the worst. Because Americans are privileged. They're, they, and they believe they're entitled to everything. They're a bunch of spoiled brats and they're not gonna make it. So I'm gonna start, I'm gonna start with some scriptures. Isaiah chapter two, verse 12. For the day of the Lord Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, the host shall be upon everyone that is proud and lofty. And upon everyone that is lifted up and he shall be brought low. All the people of pride, people filled with arrogance, and all you people that lived a charmed life, the Most High is bringing you down. Because the Most High hates prideful people. And what does he mean by prideful people? These people that prounce around and said, oh, look, I have a million dollar home, I got a Maserati, I got two Mercedes, I got a boat. Well, guess what? The Most High is gonna take everything away from me. How about that? All right. Let's go to Isaiah. And that's why I said everyone that is lifted up, all you proud people, you Wall Street guys, all you uh, people in the high tech jobs, real estate, all you bankers, all you thieves and liars, you're all going down. The Most High is bringing every single one of you down. I'm gonna go to uh, chapter uh, 23 Isaiah chapter 23 verse 9 the Lord Yahweh Bah Shem Shai of hosts has proposed it to stain the pride of all glory and to bring into contempt all the honorable of this earth He's going to bring destruction to all who, who is filled with pride. All these so-called people of honor, they're, they're, the, the only people that have honor on this earth are the apostles and the prophets and the servants and the great multitude. We're the, we're the, the people on the right-hand side that obey the law, statutes, and commandments of God. We're the people of honor. But the so-called people that you see on TV, all these judges, these, uh, your senators, your government, your president, your Congress, your judicial system, uh, all these uh, elites, colleges, 
Harvard and Yale, the, the so-called people of honor, the Most High is going to bring every single one of them. And he calls all, all you people with degrees who you think you're somebody, and I'm going to bring scriptures on that. Like I said, I have so much to bring out. He calls you the children of fools because you cast the Bible behind your back. Um, let me go to uh, Proverbs chapter 8. Proverbs chapter 8, verse 13. The fear of the Lord Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai, is to hate evil, to hate pride, to hate arrogance, and the evil way. And the a man with perverse speech do I hate. The Most High hates you. All these proud, arrogant, college graduates, these lawyers, and then they become uh, judges, and they're supposed to be the judges of the so-called earth of the Supreme Court, and they cast the Holy Book behind your, their back. They don't obey the law, statutes, and commandments. You're looking at the, the true judges. The true judges are the apostles, the prophets, and the servants. We're out in the streets, and we're on the bottom of this earth. The so-called honorable people that are on top, they cast the Bible, they step on it, they do not listen to the Word of God. That's why He is going to destroy every single one of you. That's why He's bringing this economy down. The Most High is behind that. Yahweh, He sits on the throne, and His Holy Son sits on, on His right hand side. And that's Yahweh Shai. And Yahweh Shai is waiting to come down to destroy the government of this earth. Yeah, you heard me right. He's going to destroy every single government under the sun. So he said, the fear of the Lord. Who fears the Lord God? Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. The apostles, the prophets, and the servants, and the great multitude. This is the great gathering that's happening right now. We're the only ones that fear the Creator. We, we, we obey this book and we fear God because He controls life and death. And that's why He says that the Most High hates evil people. What do they do? They create funny money, fiat money, paper money. You think that's wealth? That's not wealth. That's an unjust balance. And that's evil people. You see what they're doing with the food, with the water. There's so many things that these evil people that are doing who run this world, these evil Rothschild bankers. And I got to get back onto that series. But, you know, I just move around wherever the Spirit, I write the Scripture the Most High. He does it for me. You know, I just sit there, I pray, I meditate, and he goes, I get to find this, find Proverbs, find Isaiah, find Revelation. He tells me what to do. I'm a servant, okay? It's like a map. This, this holy book is a map. It's a guide, and it, and it lets you know everything you need to know about this world is in this holy book. So he hates evil people, he hates prideful people, he hates people of arrogance, because they their, their ways are evil. And he hates a perverse speech. Their, their, their speech is soft and cunning. That's what these people are. They're cunning about everything they do. They're deceitful. They talk nice and soft and smooth because they're deceiving you to steal your money. They deceive you and they lie to you. Oh yeah, you're going to retire with your 401. There is no 401. These these pleas and and uh, firemen and all these people that have pensions, there is no pensions. All your money every day is, is disappearing. It's worthless. Now I'm going to jump to the holy book of Isaiah. And I'll, we'll end it on this one. Isaiah chapter 13, which I read on the Rook, uh, verse 1, where Yahweh will punish Babylon, which he's going to punish America. America is going to get it the worst. But I'm going to start on Isaiah chapter 13, verse, uh, let's start with 6, where he says, Howl in pain, the day of the Lord Yahweh is near, the day when the Almighty brings destruction. Everyone's hand will hang limp. limp and everyone's courage will fail, okay? And what does he mean by that? Because when he brings America down and these people run to their banks and they try to pull out their money and that money's not there no more, 
it's like their spirit is going to jump out of their body in fear because their destiny and their family will be destitute. That's one of the greatest fears that people will face when they have nothing and they have no assets and they get evicted. Their body's going to turn. They're going to turn pale. Their spirits, is, it's like it, they're going to go into a deep, deep depression. That's why it's called a recession and it goes into a depression because when you lose your job and you lose everything, you go into a deep, dark depression. And guess who God gave the depression to first? Before, years and years before all this has been happening, he gives depression to his apostles and the prophets. They face, they face the depression. We went through depression many, many years ago. When you get into this book, when you read this holy book, it tastes like honey, but as days go by, months go by, years go by, decades go by, you 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 go into a depression. The only thing that he, who who brings us out of that depression, the Word of God, because there he is the light. He is the Savior. That's our Savior. Not the president, not your government. They're not going to save save you. The only one that's going to save you is Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. So he says right here, they will be. Uh, he said the day will come when all the uh, mighty brings destruction. Everyone, hands will hang limp, and everyone's courage will fail. They will all be terrified and overcome with pain, the pain of a woman in labor. Them are them labor pains that are coming to America, to Europe, to China, and around the world. The labor pains have been happening over there. On, in, on Russia and the Ukraine border with World War III. That's where World War III started. And it's gonna engulf the whole world, but it's gonna be much more pain of labor. When the stock market crashes, everything crashes, the China, Russia, Iran, the whole Middle East is, is gonna be coming to America to take your gold and silver and all your precious metals and anything of value. They're coming to a neighborhood near you. And he said, like the pain of a woman in labor, they will look at each other in fear and their faces will burn with shame because their, their faces are going to burn with shame because they're going to know their whole life was without God. And they threw the Bible behind their back and they're going to look and they're going to be in shame because they denied God. Their whole life was fraud. They're going to learn everything that you learned was a lie. And when they see the truth, the apostles, the prophets on the streets, everybody's going to see one day that time is coming when they're going to know who's, who's speaking the truth. That day will look, they will look at each other in fear and their faces will burn with shame. The day of the Lord God, Yahweh, is coming. The cruel day of his fierce anger and fury. The earth will be made a wilderness and every sinner will be destroyed. That day is coming when Russia and China and Iran throw nuclear missiles at America. After they come, they're going to sweep across the land. They've made movies about it, where they uh, and they come from the West. That that day is coming, and they're going to loot America, and then they're going to pull out, and then they're going to nuke it. The kingdom come, and every star and every constellation will stop shining. The sun will be dark when it rises, and the moon will give no light. That's the day when all the uh, the dust goes up, and it's called black rain. All the dust goes up in the air, and it's gonna it's gonna rain like uh, oil onto the ground, and that's gonna be day. It's gonna be dark day and night. And that's in the holy book of Joel. And he said, the Lord says, I will bring I will bring disaster on the earth and punish all wicked people for their sins because they sin. What's sin? Not obeying the law, statutes, and commandments of this holy book. That's sin. So everyone, 99.9% of this world is going to get it. Only God's elect will be saved out of this. He says, I will punish the wicked people for their sins, and I will humble everyone who is proud and punish everyone who is arrogant and cruel. 
and the pride, the arrogant, and the cruel are the people who persecute who? The apostles, the prophets, and the servants, and the great multitude of people because they laugh at us because we read this holy book. But the laugh, God's going to have the last laugh. We're going to have the last laugh. And that's going to be against you. To the people who, who watch these videos and they think it's uh, entertainment. It's not entertainment. This is the truth. There's only one book and this is the, the only book of truth. And everything is coming to pass. The prophecies are coming to pass right before your eyes. I'm going to go ahead and close it out, brothers and sisters. But while your brothers and sisters were edified, the great multitude, and uh, all praises to the Most High God, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, forever and ever. Have mercy upon all of us that know this truth. And double honors to the apostles, to the prophets and the servants who are doing the work. Keep on fighting. Keep on fighting for your life. And all the great multitude of brothers and sisters, keep on fighting. We're all together. We're all one body. So all praises to the Most High God forever and ever. So let it be true. Most High willing, I'll be here tomorrow.